and Nissa kicked him across the face. Bam! She laid one into him. Bam! One time, two times, three times. Knocked his ass through a damn glass window. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my Twisted Life of Poetry. I am Poetry. You are here for a Black Lightning Season 1, Episode 6, Recap and Review, 3-7, The Book of Thunder. I apologize, y'all. I'm just getting out of work. I just uh, I just finished the episode. Like, right now, I didn't catch it on Thursday night at all. And um, I was supposed to be getting ready to go to the theater with my mom later. So, I was, like, chesting out lips to see if I was going to wear this lip to determine what I was going to wear later on tonight. So, I'm just going to figure out just keep it on. And we get on right on into this recap and review. So, yes, yes, yes. Black Lightning. We picked up... Um, at the same goodness gracious what did we do we pick up where we left off last week right after crow and black lightning's little fight and black lightning is lying on the ground all balled up in pain in a fetal position wondering who did it when and what for and why he having trouble standing up and it seems like he is in like some serious agony like his muscles are balling up on the inside of him crushing his organs i mean at least that's what it seemed like to me so Crow, he limps into Tobias's house and tells him what happened, you know, what went down. And Tobias is wondering the same thing I was wondering last week. I just hit my dog on chain. Like, what the heck happened? Like, why you didn't kill him? I, I was wondering the same thing. I thought the crow was trying to, like, um, save the kill for Tobias, but no, why you didn't kill his butt? We learned that Tori, something just happened on my lip. We learned that Tori is in, I guess, kind of like protective custody. She got a security detail with her because Tobias is fear, fearful of her life, which I'm not sure why, because Tori seemed like she gangsta. She wanted to get about it, about it real quick, real fast, and real soon. She came there to help kill Black Lightning. So why is he protecting her? Which I kind of understood, but I didn't because, like, Lady E threatened to smush you up into the albino dust. She won't worry about your sister. If anything, she might need to worry about your sister because your sister might come back and get her ass. Last week, I was saying that Black Lightning, um, along with Tobias and Tori, may have been one of the missing kids uh, with special powers. And considering if they said it was 30 years ago. So anyway, um, considering it was 30 years ago, I was like, ain't no way that that could have been Black Lightning. Because, again, we've already went through the fact that Henderson has been chasing Black Lightning for 23 years. Okay? We already know he's supposed to have been Lawanda's high school principal after he went to the Olympics and all this, that, and the third. He got a grown-ass daughter that's at least 20-something because she's in medical school. She not, like, in a... She's she's not she's not in pre med. She's supposed to be in medical school, so she got to be like late twenties. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, him thirty years ago ain't adding up to me, right? But um, then I was wondering like, was really Tobias and Tori? But then I keep remembering that Tobias and Tori have a serum that they're taking that keeps them young looking. So they could have very well still been those missing children. But the strange thing about Tobias being one of the missing children is he was on the Freeland Council, Freeland government. Did the, did nobody notice he wasn't aging? Nobody noticed that Tobias wasn't aging. And how did he age from a young child? Maybe he aged to a certain point and he stopped aging? Because they said he was not supposed to grow old and die. And Tobias looked the same way he looked back when the daddy was killed in Black Lightning was a little boy so somebody in 30 years ain't noticed that tobias ain't never aged make it make sense to me it don't make sense to me right now i'm just going to exclude the black lightning was one of those missing children we finally get to see henderson at work and i know me and tw23 talked about this on her tv review like what the heck does henderson do he don't seem to be in charge of nothing he always late to every doggone thing he ain't doing a doggone thing as far as policing so I know he has the title of inspector, but we learned today that he's not the chief. And it looked like the chief was the same man that led Tobias in the jail to kill Latavius. Correct me if I'm wrong, if y'all remember that. I remember there's a black-haired man that was there. There was a black-haired woman that was there. And then I thought there was a guy with salt and pepper gray hair, which looks like the chief. And I think he's the one that led 
Tobias in the jail to kill Latavius. But I could be wrong. Because, um, yeah, you know, I'm only wrong 2.3456% of the time. But this might be one of those times. So, I was curious as to um, why Henderson now talks to the media so much, considering that he's not the chief. Um, I didn't think that there was any other hierarchy underneath the chief before it came down to the lower level officers. Correct me if I'm wrong on that too. Uh, so the chief is rounding up the entire office to go after Black Lightning because he supposedly had a tip where Black Lightning was at. And I'm like, really? You're going to call the whole office, but you're going to get one patrol call out there for that dog on March? Mm, okay. So how is Pastor Pinky, by the way? Ain't nobody ever said something like, where, where is Pastor Pinky? Like, I, I don't like how sometimes the stories get dropped without explanation. That's how that show Rebel that came on BET, that's how that felt. Because they had a lot of unfinished stories that never they came, never came back to. So I hope Pastor Panky, his storyline is going to come back some point during this, the course of this. So, of course, Henderson is assigned to the unit that has to go to the exact location of where Black Lightning was at, which he already knew that's where he was at. So, right before the Popo show up, Gamby arrives and gets Black away from the scene and calls Lynn to you know, help him with the medical issues. Back at the station, the chief is like livid that they could not find his ass. And the witnesses, they all tight-lipped. Ain't nobody snitching. And so Henderson asked the chief, well, how did you get this tip? Where did you, how did you know that he was going to be there? And um, the, the chief said, you're going to continue to be curious because I ain't telling your dog no thing. I ain't snitching either. He ain't letting up on his source. So then he gets a call from somebody named TJ. Um, over at Gamby's, Lynn is checking on Black's vitals and he seems to like, um, have healed, you know, already. And she pretty tight lipped, um, herself as she tries, to, as he tries to explain to her the reasons why he's doing what he's doing. And, um, but when he said to her, you know, I'm glad I got you. I got you, you know, your arms around me. Yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that. She's like, no, no, you don't. Mm -mm. I told you that I was not here for this and you keep trying to pull me back in. So I'm done. Is you done or is you finished? Because I'm through with this whole mess. You know what I'm saying? And she about it her. She left. She ain't doing this no more. So on campus, Anissa's campus, remember she's in medical school. Um, she's part of a protest that is vandalizing the General Lee statues with a bunch of pink paint i'm assuming out of water guns if it wasn't pink it was red but on my tv it looked pink to me so the campus police they rush in and they take them all down and everything and then we go back to um we kind of goes back to how we met anissa she was first being arrested on the very first episode when she was coming out of jail now she's being arrested again this girl stay arrested and jennifer said that to a girl you stay arrested you get arrested more than anybody i know so it, is anybody else but me Wondering why no one has mentioned that Anissa broke that bathroom sink at the house. That was a porcelain bowl. That was porcelain. That's the old school 1940s porcelain that was in that bathroom. And she just busted it down. And nobody at home said, girl, why is this sink busted? Didn't nobody hear it? Everybody was at home. It was the middle of the damn night. You know, a dog on a little mouse run through the house in the middle of the night. Everybody going to wake up because they're going to hear it. Nobody heard this sink bust and broke it, crumble down like that. So I don't know. That didn't make sense to me either. And it's so too many weeks have gone by because Khalil is out the dog on hospital now at home. So too many weeks have gone by that ain't nobody mentioned that that damn sink got broke. And it was at her house, if anybody is wondering, that she was laying in the bed with Jennifer. She wasn't with the girlfriend. She was at, at home. And when she went to the girlfriend's house, she told her about it. Remember? So why ain't nobody brought this sink up? Anyway. We are at Lynn's job, and her co-worker, who is a little cutie patooie, you know, he bring her some uh, brain scans, and I thought they were uh, black scans at first, because they kind of look like his. Turns out, these are images of people who are hooked on that green light mess. And interested enough, because they, like I said, they look very similar to black lightness. So, this is kind of bringing my theory back up, because first I was thinking that green light has something to do with the vaccine that was mentioned that his daddy was writing about and i don't know if i mentioned that in the actual video but i thought that so he asked lynn has she ever seen these type of scans before and she did, of course denied it um but then he went out of the office to go get her some coffee and on his way back with the coffee or maybe that was his coffee in his hand but he turned around and looked at her and she was comparing scans so he he on the phone he was already on the phone making a phone call to whoever he ever need to talk to and he dashed off real quick like so jefferson picks up anissa 
and you know pretty much gives her a speech that most black families have to give to their children like how all it takes is one trigger happy cop you know with a itchy trick or finger for melanated folks and she's a goner you know don't matter if the cop black or white just all it takes is a trigger happy cop to just see your color instead of your humanitarian efforts is what he said well, Anissa hears him, but she ain't listening. You already know she ain't listening. And it seems like Jefferson is against every type of protest there could possibly be. He seems like he's one of those people that think education is going to stop a bullet, you know, or stop you from being killed by the police or stop you being harassed by the police. And if you're fighting for what you believe in, it's kind of careless and reckless, unless you have superpowers. And I can't stand them people. <laughs> okay, so Jefferson and Anissa, uh, they... Not Jefferson. Jennifer and Anissa have a heart to heart about Khalil. And Jennifer is like feeling really guilty because, you know, she wanted to have a boyfriend, one that she can go to prom with, one she could dance with and date, you know. And now that's all she see of their future is her pushing him around, helping him do what he gotta do, and standing at the sidelines watching everybody else enjoy their life. And I'm thinking, young lady, you only fifteen. You only fifteen. You shouldn't be thinking about a future with a boy or with anyone right now boyfriends they all cute and stuff you know they fun to have but you too young to be trying to build a future in your mind with somebody right now and i i know you out there drinking and smoking and sneaking in the clubs this that and the third but you ain't even lived life yet for real girl no girl bye ain't nobody got time for that this might be would say that ain't nobody got time for that well anyway um <laughs> she's she gonna wake up and be like them old hags out there with that with their childhood stolen and wishing they could do it all over again. Mm -mm, Jennifer Doll, don't be worried about stuff like that, girl. Go be you. Don't go be fifteen. So, Gamby, he's fixed the suit, okay. Um, and Justin claims that he don't feel no pain, and um, he back to doing his damn thing. You know, great balls of fire in his hands, what have you. And he ready to pop up and go get Tobias. Like, get get on that ass real quick. And Gamby's like, no, slow your roll, partner. Slow down. For what? Why am I slowing down? Like, Gamby, why do you have such interest in me not having an interest in getting Tobias? I don't get that. That's because Gamby has something up his sleeve. He ain't living life right, y'all. Something ain't right for him. He ain't right with him, but that's all right. Get him, too. Get him, too, is how I'm feeling right now. Well, Gamby uh, goes to Lynn and asks her to talk to Black Lightning. Talk him down. You know, he's talking about killing the man. You know, once you go to that dark place, you ain't going to never come back. So, Lynn's like, keep me out of this. I told you already. Keep my name out your mouth in regards to Black Lightning. And then he gets a text, uh, Black Lightning, Jefferson, gets a text from his doctor reminding him of an appointment. And then he reflects on something that Henderson said that, you know, most criminals have habits and patterns that they look for. So, he starts to research uh, medical info on albinism. Is that how you pronounce it? Albinism? Albinism. Well, anyway... Lana, the little girl that Jennifer had a fight with, posted up a video calling her the Black Becky and how she's trying to be a, a white girl and it's then the third. And Keisha's like, hey, you need to go beat her down again. Go on, beat her down again. And Jennifer's like, you damn right. That's what's up. I'm thinking Jennifer going to go handle this girl. But no, she didn't. She didn't go handle her. Anyway, Anissa um, brings Grandpa Pierce's research in to Lynn to try to get her to help her get an understanding of what the research was, because there was a lot of medical stuff. You know, her mom is a neuroscientist. She's a scientist, so she want her to help her understand what she's been reading. But she still ain't willing to tell her what's up, right? So, Black Lightning heads into Tobias's building, or so I thought. And he tries to talk. Um, what's his name? Gamby tries to talk him out of it again. But this is not Tobias's building. This is um. The doctor's building. The feed gets cut short. His doctor saying, you know, he got a, he don't want to give him no information because, you know, he fear for his life. He fear for his kids. But he ain't got no information. Anyway, they always call him after work. I was telling him to meet him somewhere. And, you know, he ain't willing to help him, no. Because, you know, shoot. His life is on the line. Black give him the old cell phone like, hey, call me if you change your mind, right? So, at school, Karen rushes up to Jefferson and let him know that Jennifer's being cyberbullied. Of course, no, she's always there for him if she needed. I'm, I'm always there for you, Jefferson. <laughs> and the person who posted it was named King Khalil. I was like, that's strange. Not I, Khalil, right? Because they didn't have no beef. 
Where did this come from? They didn't have no beef. So, um, Jefferson goes to Khalil's classroom and she's not there. And then she's in the gym soaking. And Jefferson tells her, don't trip off these crab and barrel ass people. You know, don't, don't let that get to you. Don't let them try to define your blackness. And we find out that is indeed our Khalil. Our Khalil. Last time we talked, Jennifer was still sitting by his side. They didn't seem to have no issue. So that didn't make sense to me is why he would turn on her. Um, but then um, Jen Jennifer's like, you know what? I need to talk to him. Just to say, no, give me space. Give me space. But no, she's insistent on talking to him. So over at Anissa campus, there's a group of white protesters now who look like they're too damn old to be going to this dog on school out there chanting, we will not be replaced. We will not be replaced. Security is holding back the anti-protesters. And the news is saying that these folks um, were white nationalists and things turned real ugly. One of the little racist ass bastards took his car and ran over the girl who was standing next to Anissa when they did the first protest. So, yeah, they 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 taking, they taking a lot of stuff from the news, and, 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 I told you, and, and incorporating it into this show. I, I kind of still love that about that. Well, Jennifer is over at Khalil's. Like, what's up? What's really going on? She's like, you've been avoiding me. You ain't answering my calls. You're not answering my texts. But you got the time to sit there and throw shade on the internet, right? So he said, well, Becky, <laughs> if it wasn't for you... I wouldn't be at the march in the first doggone place. It's all your fault. And I'm thinking, no, bro. Mm -mm. If you weren't trying to impress her just so you can get some ass, then you wouldn't have been at that damn march. So, anywho. Right. So, she like, you know what? Well, we need to take a break. He's like, for what? Take a break until when? Until I walk? We know that ain't happening. So, take your privilege old bougie behind on up out of here. Bounce. And take your praise while you're at it. I was like, what? He's so angry. Like, oh my goodness, this Tobias really getting to his head like that. Well, anyway, the doc, his name was Mayfield. Doc Mayfield called a black lightning, like, hey, girl, hey, I got the call. So all this time I was thinking um, that Jefferson's voice was altered because he was wearing the mask, just like people's vision is altered when they're wearing the mask, they can't see him. Kind of found out he does that naturally because he was just on the phone talking in his black lightning voice and he had a mask on. And the doc is like, okay, now um, I gave you what you need. You're going to be here, right? You're going to be here like you said. Okay. And he's like, I assure you, I'm going to be there. Everything's straight. So Anissa walks right up to uh, the prayer vigil, dressed in full garb, and nobody notices. I'm like, come on, y'all. Y'all are not crying this hard that you don't see this black girl with this silky blonde hair walking around in this blue latex-ass cat suit with a, a gold glitter mask painted on her damn face. None of y'all notices her. Come on, man. Well, anyway, Anissa stomps the ground. <laughs> you know, get all her little uh, aggression out. And the, the wave of energy just flows out and crashes the whole damn monument. But it knocks everybody else down in the process. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> It seems that every time that she tries to purposely use her strength, with the exception of when she was helping Grace out with those guys, someone unintentionally gets hurt, and then she goes off crying to herself, like, I feel all bad, oh my God, I don't know, whatever. So she decides to call her mama to finally tell her, or show her, what's really going on. Lynn tells her to come on, swing by the lab, and why do I think something is about to go down at this lab? So next, Gamby... Um, Calls her up again, tries to sway her to get involved because she fears that Jefferson's going to kill a man. You don't want him to do that. Jefferson is outside of the, the spot where Tobias is supposed to be going, just waiting. Mm -hmm. Jefferson flashbacks to when Tobias killed his daddy. So, yep, I was right. Tobias was one of the missing children because he said that, um, what did he say to him? He says, so, yeah, you wanted to write about me, your Uncle Tom, is that another so? And he, the daddy was writing about the missing kids. So a car pulls up and Jefferson readies himself, you know, got his little lightning bolts ready, like pam, 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 pam. Oh, dead eye Molly, you know, she get out the car, crow step out the car. And then Gamby patches into his suit with Lynn, like, hey, talk to him. I'm patching in right now. You know, um, why he didn't cut the feed on that, I don't know. He should cut the feed. But anyway, he was all ready to go. Then glass crashes outside of the lab and he could hear it. And he's like, what's that? What's that? Lynn says, sound like somebody broke in. So he's like, hey, on my way. So he said, fuck Tobias and them. He rushed to go help Lynn. In the meantime, 
And this is already on the scene, baby. Coming in. Her blue latex cat suit. Coming on in, baby. <laughs> and she um comes in. The two guys got Lynn all tied up. Got duct tape all on the mouth and everything. And this come in like, hey, yo, step back away from her. Get up off my mama like that. Like, she didn't say it was her mama, but she's no, you know, we knew what she was feeling. She was like, get up off my mama. So, Lynn is looking like, is that my damn baby? What is going on up in here, right? So the guy pulls out the gun on her. And she takes a deep breath. <gasps> Take the deep breath. He shoots the gun. Pow, pow, pow. I don't know where the fuck the bullets went. They didn't deflect off her body. They didn't hit her. How she know she had the power to not get shot? Because first, first of all, all we've been able to see so far is her show extreme strength. And I think speed, too. But the fact that you... Can't get shot by bullets. How you know that was going to happen, girl? I mean, it wasn't like she blew some wind and blew the bullets back because she could have you know, shot him back with the bullets if she did that. So I was just surprised that you know, all of a sudden this power manifested and it didn't shock her. So she tosses one of the dudes and they uh, the other one turns on the other one and he runs out. So the other guy runs past her too. They run away. She didn't decide to go after them. She decided to go to her mama's side. Of course, that's what you would do. Right, so when she get by her mama's side, Jefferson come in. He see her over there like, hey, get the hell away from her, right? So, he shoots a beam of lightning at Anissa. Anissa say, fool, what's up with you? <laughs> so then, he next hit her right in the gut. <laughs> Bam, she flies up against the wall like that. Anissa's like, okay, okay, quick. So now you want to shoot people in the pinky toe. Come on, that sucker. Okay, nah, for real. That's hard on nights with Eddie Murphy and Della Reese. <laughs> but it fit, because that's exactly how she was feeling. She was like, okay, then, daddy, you want to go ahead and kick at me? Well, she didn't know this was her daddy at this point. She was like, we, we, we going to get down. So she stomped her foot on the ground, releases that energy, and through the air, not Jefferson on his ass. Lynn protesting, but she's not really, because she's just shaking her head like, no. I'm like, no, girl. It's really getting to it. Get dramatic. Flail. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Don't do that to my baby. That's how you're supposed to be. But anyway, I'm kind of glad that she didn't. Because we get to get a fight scene, baby. We get a fight scene between Anissa and her daddy. Which is Anissa character who I don't know who the hell she is at this point. <laughs> it's the Black Lightning. We get some real action here. So, Black Lightning jump bad in Anissa. Anissa kicked them across the face. Bam. She laid one into him one time, two times, three times. Knocked his ass through a damn glass window. He come at it again, and she is kicking his ass. <laughs> I was like, get him, Vanessa, get him. He tried to hit her with another one, another boat. She held it back like, ah, get up off me with that third. Somehow, he got in another one on her, knocked her ass out. I was like, damn, he hit her one good time and knocked her out. She was fucking him up, though. Anissa was laying it in two black bite. I'm telling you, she was getting him. Anyway, he rushes up to her like, who the hell is this chick? What the heck was she doing? Turn her over and realize, oh, Anissa, my baby? I just whooped my own daughter ass. Yes, you did. <laughs> so now they rushing away in a Gamby's little van. Anissa's still knocked out. She got a concussion. It's a few bruises and stuff. And Black is like, what the hell is she doing? Lynn is all cried up. She was being you. She was being you, Jefferson. She has powers. Oh, my baby has powers. Oh, my God, Jefferson, she got powers. I was like, girl, calm down. It ain't even that serious. <laughs> but anyway. Tobias has picked up Khalil. I don't know how Khalil got picked up in this mess. And he is promising him that he's going to walk again. So I guess he's about to take um, Khalil over to the dock. Because that's maybe that was the special meeting they were setting up. So he's about to take Khalil somewhere. And Dead Eye Molly is like, hey, you're going to know strength. You're going to have strength. And believe me, homeboy, it ain't nothing better than it. So this leads me to believe that Dead Eye Molly got powers too. So Tobias is about to... Um, Make Khalil into a, a killer machine, I'm thinking, with that green. That's what I'm saying. I'm assuming. Anyway, Gamby slips into Lady Eve's, uh, what is it? Her mortuary, her morgue, crematory. I don't know what the hell she do down there. Them bombing area. He slip over in there. And she's like, how the hell did you get back here? <laughs> she knew who he was, though. She knew who he was without even turning around. Maybe he had a scent or a smell or something. And Gamby's like, look, girl, I taught you everything you know. Not everything I know. I love that line. That was dope right there. Anyway, I'm like, Gamby, how involved are you really 
with Tobias and them. Like, what have you done? Now you're making me think that you had something to do with Black Light and Daddy being dead. What's really going on? Well, we come to find out that Jilly from the Philly and Gamby used to work together at the agency. I don't know what the agency is, but that's where they used to work together. And he comes in like, you know, the, I told you the Pierce family is off limit. That's the, that's the, that's the deal that we had, right? And she's like, yeah, what? And he's like, oh, well, why would your men up there messing with Lynn? And he say, well, Lynn Stewart, quote unquote, not Pierce. She didn't say those words, but we knew that's what she meant because she called her Lynn Stewart, not Pierce. So she's very knowledgeable. She is a very capable person. We're just trying to see what research that she knew and understood, right? We, we wanted to be up on the same level as her. So then she turned to Gammy and said, so what you know about her then? What information do you really know, right? So Gammy's like, I don't know nothing. She's like, don't play with me, boy. Do not play with me. I will kill my own mama. Don't play with me. <laughs> I was like, she said, look, you made promises too, so you better be keeping them. He's like, look, I'm keeping the promise. I've been keeping Tobias' name out my mouth. Ain't nobody going to catch up to Tobias. She said, good, because if his laundry gets aired, your laundry is going to get aired as well, right? Did I say how good Jill Scott's motherfucking her looked in this episode? She looked good. Her makeup was like, bup, bup, Jilly from Philly look good up in here. Go ahead on, Lady Eve. Anyway, Anissa and them, like I said, they still riding. Um, no, they're not riding no more. They back at the house now. Uh, Lynn is still, you know, tending to her wound. She's still laying there full makeup, feel garb and everything. And she looks up at her mama. Like, we're alive. All is well. Hey, girl, hey, right? And then all of a sudden, she feels a body, a presence in the room. And she turns to the other side. And she looks up, and she sees black lightning. But he doesn't have a mask on. So therefore, she sees his face. And she says, Daddy? Yes, girl, that's your daddy, girl. Black lightning is your daddy. <laughs> oh, all right, y'all. That is the end of the episode. That is Black Lightning Season 1, Episode 6. 3-7, the Book of Thunder. So I'm assuming the Thunder must be what Anissa's name is going to be. I don't know what the hell 3-7 stood for, though. I don't know. But yeah, I'm still confused about Jefferson's age. Y'all cannot make me understand Jefferson's age. Because if he died, his daddy died 30 years ago. And from that, he was supposed to be still a little boy, like 9, 10 or something like that. That means Jefferson 40, which doesn't add up as far as him... Being Black Lightning for 23 years, and Henderson has been a police officer. His friend is the same age as him, chasing after him. It don't make sense. Y'all can't make me make that make sense. It don't make sense at all. All right. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about this episode. I am still loving this show, despite a few little um, discrepancies, but I'm still loving this show. It's exciting to me. I still love all the messages that they drop through there, subliminal or not. Some of them are pretty direct. If you missing them, it's because you don't want to know. And what else? What else? What else? I mean, keep trying to be on Thursday night with this, and I don't never make it on Thursday night. Something else is always coming up or popping up. But yeah, I appreciate y'all coming back and watching. I appreciate y'all being here. Like the video, thumbs it up. That's what you. That's how you like it. Comment down below. Like I said, all your thoughts. Share it if you have other social media. I appreciate that because that brings other people to me. And if you are not a subscriber yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell so that way you can be notified when all my videos come out. Especially Black Lightning. You won't miss them out. Especially since I ain't been really consistent with the days these are coming out. Thank y'all again. Peace.